house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Do you see what I mean? He's telling you, you think you're doing well. You could have really been doing well, but you didn't listen. And one of these days, well, wouldn't you know, we get into heaven, and so you say, thank you, Lord, for all those blessings. Find out, well, you could have had all of this, other stuff, hmm. crowns and glory, but you didn't listen, right? Don't hold back on God. If you're going to hold back, hold back on anyone but not God. Amen? Amen. Okay. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall destroy the fruits, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall you your vine cast forth their fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord. And all nations shall call you blessed, for you shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. And if we go over to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, in the 1 Corinthians chapter 9, we read this. Just verses 13 and 14. Do you not, do you not know that they which minister upon holy things live off the things of the temple, and they which wait at the altar are partakers with the altar? Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live off the gospel. In other words, listen, a lot of pastors don't demand that the congregation support them. The congregation is obligated, obligated to support the pastors. Amen. It's obligated. In other words, he makes it very, very clear. Let me read that again. Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live off the gospel. Amen. Now, Not, not in not in a, a lavish style. Not with 32 homes like those pastors. <laughs> not with three lyric chants like that woman preacher has. Okay. okay. No, not in a lavish style. But the church is required to meet the needs, the basic needs of the pastor. That's right. And then if you go over to 1 Corinthians 16, in 1 Corinthians 16, verses 1 and 2. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given orders to the churches of Galatia, even so do you. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as God hath prospered him, and there be no gatherings when I come. In other words, you see, in the first day of the week, Sunday, you know, after the Lord under the new covenant, he expected that when he comes, you don't you don't run out and say, hey, you know, the Apostle Paul is here. We've got to give him something for his travel. He said, have it have it there already. Have it there already. Take up an offering on the first day of the week. And then the weapons of, of warfare. I want you to turn over to Ephesians. Chapter 6. And in Ephesians chapter 6. And we're going to, I'm just going to read this through because we've we've been over this.